Hi, this is Amanda Haley with Dennis and Yachting, and I'm here with Jim, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his Vagabond 47 catch that he has for sale. Okay, Amanda, this is, a, as you said, a Vagabond 47 catch, first laid up in 1975, completely restored as of 2016. Uh, when I say completely, I mean completely. It was taken down to bare glass inside and out, um, and uh, basically a new boat was built inside the shell. Uh, starting from the bow and working our way aft, all aluminum. Uh huh. It has um, internal, uh, both horizontal and vertical struts that run down the whole length of it. Mm -hmm. So it's super strong. It's actually lighter than the, uh, the original wood. Mm -hmm. but then the frame for the uh, pulpit decking mm -hmm. is welded to the, the sprit, as is the, the mounting for the. Um, uh, for the windlass. Yeah. So it's all one piece. And at the very end, it's got a stainless steel star. That's, that's uh, the traditional good luck yep. in sailing ships. We also have silver dollars under each of the masts. Great. Silver uh, dollars. Yep. Did it up right. They're no pennies Shirley's here. Fathers. They're, they're uh, Shirley's fathers. Oh, so. wow. That's special. Uh, the ground tackle's got a big uh, rocker 80 anchor and 300 feet of chain. Uh, the secondary anchor is a uh, Plow type anchor with uh, 400 feet of braid. Um, the Genoa uh, furling system is a Schaefer 3100. Uh, the Stasel furling system is a Schaefer 2100. Uh, I've got a big uh, Lawfern's Falcon windlass uh, here uh, with foot pedals uh, right beside it. Uh, as you come back, the spars are new. They were built by JSI out of uh, St. Pete. Uh, along with uh, Schaefer roller furling booms. Uh, this is the, the beta profile, the mizzen is the gamma profile. Uh, new sails, uh, all new sails from Max Sails out of Stewart, Florida. Um, big electric winch to uh, raise and lower uh, all the sails. Uh, the Schaefer system has a, a rigid vang, it holds the boom at an 87 degree angle to the mast at all times. Um, that uh, facilitates the uh, furling and unfurling of the sails. Uh, all the hardware on deck, the block, the tackle, hardware, that's all uh, Harkin. Harkin. Um, heavy duty Harkin stuff. Uh, everything that looks like wood uh, on the deck and on the outside of the boat is actually synthetic. This boat was covered in teak. Um, and after all the restoration work, we didn't want to be spending our leisure time uh, working on Maintaining, right yeah. Um, so everything, everything is synthetic. Uh, this material that looks like teak is from a, a company out of Akron, Ohio called Plastec. Um, the rub rails and cap rails are solid PVC um, from a company called Wilkes out of the UK. It works just like wood. Uh, you can sand it, you can cut it, you can miter it, uh, just like wood. But again, no, no maintenance. If it gets dirty, you pressure wash it. Um, all the attachments to the hull, uh, whether they're blocks or chain plates, uh, they all have heavy-duty uh, stainless steel backing plates on the inside. Uh, everything is stainless steel. There's no, no material uh, that's not stainless steel on this boat. Uh, going aft, We have a large couch uh, with two storage boxes, uh, propane on the starboard side, and just miscellaneous storage on the, on the port side. Um, these two sections come out, uh, giving you access to the, uh, to the dinghy and the ladder. Uh, the dinghy is a Czar 10 foot uh, aluminum hull, um, and the outboard is a 15 horsepower Suzuki, and they, of course, We'll be sold with the boat. Okay. Tell us about this Davit system. Uh, of course, a yeah, custom made uh, inch and a quarter stainless steel, not tubing, pipe. Okay. Uh, heavy duty. Um, and then we, we put a, we mounted a, uh, a small swim platform in the back, which makes, makes it very convenient okay. uh, to get on and off of the, uh, off the dinghy. 
All right. Snow anchor mounts right here. That's been taken off for uh, summer storage. Gotcha. Um, half hatch door aids uh, with covers. Uh, again, another rigid bang. Same deal at both the doors. Uh, uh, so okay. Looks like the eyes and glass is yeah, full yeah. enclosure here. Yeah, eyes and glass all around. This all unzips, it all comes out. Yep. Uh, with the exception of the thing the top. Okay. You can open up the top to completely. Of course, all new standing rigging, all new running rigging. Uh, again, all that came from the uh, back seals. All right. Tell us about the cockpit area here. Uh, you got a full complement of Raymarine instrumentation. Um, you got. Uh, um, autopilot. Uh, this also tells you the angle of the rudder. Okay. Uh, Multifunction display. This is the uh, uh, joystick for the bow thruster. Okay. Um, and of course, you, you got three more Raymarine uh, displays uh, under the hardtop. Okay. Um, this does have uh, hydraulic steering. Nice. Uh, all the hydraulics are from a company called Cobelt. Uh, heavy duty. Um, Hydraulics, um, hydraulic autopilot as well. Um, there's the um, um, electric winch. Mm -hmm. um, well, what else can I tell you back here? Um, of course, nice, nice seat for the helmsman. Yeah. Um, all um, pad eyes are strategically located uh, around the boat for jack lines. Okay. Uh, so you can be you can be uh, uh, strapped in whether you're in the cockpit or going forward or going aft. Um, and that that's worked very well for us. Okay. All right, you first. I'll follow you. Okay. This is when I'm really gonna say wow. Introduce us to your lovely wife here. This is my wife, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Hello. Um, the interior is all ash. The, the light colored wood is ash. The dark wood is teak. Mm -hmm. um, the flooring is the same thing. The grid is ash, but the uh, uh, that's Floor actually boards. a laminate. Laminate? Um, okay. Uh, that matches the teak perfectly. Uh, every section is removable, so there's a ton of storage underneath. Okay. Um, on the uh, port side, the, the table, uh, as you see it now, is a dining dining height, but it goes down a coffee table height. Okay. Uh, there's storage underneath uh, each one of the compartments. Right. Um, you have three air conditioning units, uh, mm -hmm. three cruise air, air conditioning units. Uh, there's one right behind you underneath uh, this settee. Okay. Um, that basically provides AC for the main salon. There's one under uh, Shirley's seat that provides, uh, it takes care of the forward cabin and the main salon. You can shut them off so you can direct it. And then there's one in the, in the master cabin as well. All right. Tell uh, us about the countertop here. Countertop, this is Corian. Okay. Uh, this is the freezer. This is the refrigerator. Okay. Um, you got a full size water, uh, a water maker. Uh, Uh, brand new, never been used. Wow, okay. Um, this part of the countertop comes up uh -huh. so you can access it. Okay. okay so this, this whole section is removable so you can uh, so you can work on the, uh, Excellent. the water maker. We haven't had a need to make to water. Use it. This yes, way. right. Uh, so it's brand new. Great. Um, this is just uh, storage underneath the utensils and, and so forth. Nice. Very um, nice. Uh, all, all, the all the drawers are mortise and tendon built. Okay. Um, I had a, a, a guy who was an absolute artist with wood. Yeah, obviously. Uh, do the fine jewelry work. Mm -hmm. um, 
and it, it, it just looks terrific job in this movie. Yeah, it, it shows completely. Um, snow is an, is an Alps. It's actually an Italian snow. Okay. Uh, I saw one of these on a big uh, catamaran uh, in the BBIs and you know, just fell in love with it. So that's what we want on, on this. Uh, there's a, uh, it's a propane system. This is propane sniffer. Okay. Uh, so if we have leaks or anything, it alarms and automatically shuts them off. Great. Um, and here is a polishing system, new polishing system. Mm-hmm. Um, I can, I, I, this has three um, aluminum diesel tanks. Yeah. And I can isolate each tank. Okay. Um, it also has three food grade stainless steel water tanks. All right. Um, moving our way aft, uh, this is our pantry. Um, stainless steel drawers. slide out drawers. Nice. This was originally going to be a, a space for washer and dryer, mm -hmm. and uh, Shirley decided that she didn't want one, so yeah, it became a perfect spot for um, a nice pantry. pantry. Yes, I agreed. Uh, master cabin, hanging locker, drawers, drawers, drawers over here, um, horse cabinets. Um, we keep the curtains on here in South Florida in the yes. summertime because it gets like an oven outside. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, when you step in here, I'll show you mm -hmm. uh, access to the... Got your pirate jacket there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Arr, matey. So, um, you can access the engine from all four sides. Oh, that's great. Um... So you got dual ray corb, uh, yep. fuel filters for the engine, and a single ray corb for the, the uh, diesel generator. Yep. Um, and up here, um, you have your, your your overflow tank for uh, hydraulic system, mm -hmm. and then this is all the electronics for the uh, uh, Wi-Fi and cellular network that's on the boat. Okay. Looks like you got a lot of soundproofing there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. This is beautiful. I'm going to go over here. So there's a TV. It's very deep back in this area. And you can see access to all the um, winches. Accessible. Yeah, these, are, these are actually the backing plates for, for the... Uh, this is for the, the cleat. Uh-huh. This is for the running backstay okay. chain plate. Chain plate. Okay. Um, those... Backing plates uh, against the port lights. Uh -huh. uh, that is where the uh, uh, one of the legs for the davits okay. connects to the hull. Mm -hmm. And everything's stainless steel. Everything's stainless steel. Gotcha. You can tell. All right. Uh, Plenty staying, of. Staying on this side, yep. so you get access to the engine. Yep. So the storm side access. Um, this is a Beta Marine 90. Um, it's a Kubota marinized tractor engine. Mm -hmm. It's got two alternators, a 60 amp alternator uh, that recharges the starter battery. And then on the other side, there's a 20 amp alternator uh, that charges the house bank. Wow. Um, actually has 110 horsepower uh, because it does have a, a turbocharger. How many hours are on the engine? About 540. Okay, 540 now. Uh, this is a, um, I'll give you a little, little bit of light here. That is a, also a Kubota, a single cylinder diesel engine. That's my generator. Okay. Um, this is the um, hydraulic pump for the mm -hmm. autopilot. Mm -hmm. um, water strainer for the, the Jenny. Jenny. Mm -hmm. And this is the water strainer for the... Easy engine. access for changing. Yeah, yeah. you can uh, unscrew it very, very easily. Yep. Easy to maintain yep. everything. Excellent. Um, if you look down there, you can see the uh, fuel manifold. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to the right are the three inputs from the tanks. Mm -hmm. um, and every, uh, every hose, uh, every wire is labeled. Okay. Uh, throughout the entire boat. Yeah. Um, 
dry bilge. Mm -hmm. Very dry. Beautiful. Um, when, when we were restoring this, we wanted to minimize the number of holes in the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, these things had a reputation of being what they call leaky tikis. Yes. Um, so uh, when we, uh, we moved all the stanchions, mounted them on the gunnels, uh, just eliminated uh, as many holes through the deck as we possibly could. Mm -hmm. uh, so the boat is very dry, uh, no leaks on the boat at all. Let's uh, take a look at the nav station. Why don't you explain that to us? Well, this is um, this is the DC side. This is the AC side. Okay. Um, it also has a uh, Xantrex Link Pro battery monitoring system. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the house bank batteries are underneath here. Okay. Um, there are six two volt absorbed glass mat batteries. Um, Provide about 1,200 amp hours. Okay. Nice. This is the control panel for the for the Jenny. This is the uh, Xantrex battery charger. Uh, it's a 60 amp battery charger. Um, I've got actually got three bilge pumps on this boat. Mm -hmm. uh, two electric and one manual. Uh, this is the gauge for the fuel tanks and the water tanks. So if you, you flip it uh, to the left, it tells you how much uh, diesel. And then you flip it over to the right, it tells you how much water. Great. Um, this. Is the main wiring closet. All right. Um, this isolates the generator. Um, this, of course, is the high water alarm. Mm -hmm. uh, there's your Xantrex uh, 60 amp battery charge, and below that is the Xantrex 5000 um, inverter. Okay. And again, everything's labeled, every, every wire. Every hose, everything's got got labels on it. Okay. Well, you can see and that. there's a complete uh, the wiring system, plumbing systems are completely documented. Okay. Great. Now this is what I thought was super neat about this boat. Check this out. Here. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Okay, so this is the main head. Um, vessel sink. Corian countertop, uh, 10 gallon water heater underneath here. Mm -hmm. um, this is a Santa Marine um, electric um, head, uh, stainless steel. Black water tank is behind this wall. Okay. Um, you take this off, and there, you can put a handle on there and switch from uh, tank to overboard. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay, so full size shower. Yep. Uh, very, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and then in here, this is the port side of the engine room. Yep. Uh, again, full access to everything. Uh, 220 amp alternator on the Jenny. Yep. 220 amp alternator on the engine. Uh, so when the engine's running, it's, it's pumping a good load back into the battery bank. Uh, when the Jenny's running, it's pumping the same load. Gotcha. Um, this is great to have access from all sides. Plenty of access. Um, Tell us about the motor mounts here. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, the Vagabond originally came with uh, a Ford Lehman 85 horsepower uh, engine. Um, and, the, of course, the mounts were built to accommodate that engine. Uh, we needed new custom mounts for the uh, for the Beta, uh, so we had uh, heavy steel mounts uh, that sleeve over the original mm -hmm. uh, mounts for um, um, to support the Beta engine. Okay. Um, 
Did I mention a dry bilge? Very, very dry. Yes, yeah, on the other <laughs> side, you had mentioned that. Let's mention that again. That's very, a very, dry, very, very important. Bilge. Such beautiful stained glass here and a lot of um, access for storage. Beautiful sinks. All right. All right. So the stairs come out. And then we have access. Um, oh, wow. This is the starter battery. These are all the gray marine electronics. Okay. This board comes out so you have access to the front of the engine. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So you get access all, four all the way around. Yep. Great. Thank you for showing us that as well. This boat was also featured in Good Old Boat, showing the whole restoration process and the whole story. If you would like access to this, I can send you an email version of it as well. Please take a look through the listing pictures. There is another forward cabin with a sink and head not shown on this video.